Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in today. Today I'm going to be tying a brassy. This is obviously a super classic pattern that you should have in your, your fly box for sure. For the hook, I'm going to be using a fire hole 315 in size 22 on this one. Obviously you can tie it larger or smaller. Uh, for the thread, I'm going to be using Semperfly Nano Silk and 50 denier. And for the wire or the body, I'm going to be using a small UTC and olive. For the bead, I'm using, uh, this is a Killer Caddis glass bead in midge size. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the thread right behind the bead. Don't take it down too far because you don't want to build this body up. And then I'm going to immediately tie the wire in. Uh, I like to jam it into the thread uh, to give it a little bit of extra hold, or sorry, jam it into the bead. And then once I got it secure, uh, you want to make sure really not to pull too hard backwards. Uh, one, you don't really need to, but two, if you pull super hard with this nano silk, it will pull right out. So you just secure it with a couple wraps and then you start taking touching thread or touching wraps back to the bend of the hook. Once you get to where you want the length of the body, you're going to start taking open spirals forward. And this is just going to create the segmentation on the body. You can obviously spread them out as far as you want or make them closer if you want. Again, with this nano silk being extra slippery, uh, I like to take a couple wraps in front of and back of just really make sure that that, that wire is secure. I'm going to helicopter it off. And then for the, the head, I'm using peacock curl. This is just a classic peacock curl. I'm gonna take a piece. I like to clip the tip off just cause it's a little bit more brittle. I'm gonna secure it back over the wire wraps. And then I'm gonna take about three, four wraps forward. Make sure all those fibers are pointing backwards. Then I'm gonna secure it using my thread. Some behind, some in front of. Make sure that that peacock curl's not going anywhere. That thread's not going anywhere. Now before cutting it, I'm going to whip finish actually. And I'm gonna whip finish in front of the hurl and behind the bead. Um, and I find that uh, this really helps a lot without the material slipping out, especially when you seat that knot on the nano silk. Uh, if you do that before cutting your thread off, uh, you will have this fly come off, come undone a lot less. Go ahead and check out Renome scissors if you haven't already. Again, uh, these are the scissors that I use, super sharp, super, super long lasting. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that with some UV resin, make sure it really doesn't fall apart. You can obviously use head cement, you can use nothing. But again, this is a super classic pattern. This is the brassy. Go ahead and tie them up in any color you want, really, and, and fish them. They're effective patterns year round. Thanks for checking in. Mm -hmm.